Yep. That's right, the best we can do for a sign. We're up in the Mojave Trails National Monument here in southeastern California. We have two incredible stops for you today. Stay tuned. So battling the snow going home. Turns into rain, we get back to our campsite. And there's my tent. One little snake holding it in. This is not pleasant. Rainy, 37 degrees. Muddy, tired from hiking six miles in a tent that's upside down. This was radical. They did not like to think that they were being excluded. Let me tell you a funny story. I get an email Thursday, and it comes from the producer at CBS. This is crazy. Did you hear the story? And the producer from CBS writes an email to me and says, we're doing a documentary on Zion National Park and will be airing nationwide this Saturday, as in yesterday. And we were there, we did some filming, but we need some clips of some, some folks climbing up Angel's Landing and we, we Googled it and you were the first video we found. So I'm thinking, all right, who's playing a joke on me, right? He says, call me if you have any questions. So I called the guy, producer of CBS. I called him, talking to him, super nice guy. And I said, is this real, is this legit? Oh yeah, 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 this is real. I said, man, you guys are waiting to the last minute on this thing, aren't you? It is Saturday, yesterday, nine o'clock in the morning. The show airs. Anybody see the show? No one watches CBS Saturday morning. All right, you know why? Because you were at the men's breakfast, weren't you? Where well, you should have been. That's right. So I'm at the men's breakfast and then I got membership class. So I missed the whole thing. So I'm like, ah, man, I really want to see that. So I get on their YouTube channel. It's already uploaded. And I'm watching it. As it was just said, we are at Mojave Trails National Monument. We're a little south in Southern California of Mojave National Preserve. And based upon my research, there's two pretty cool things to see here at this monument. Let me show you around. In 1938, founder Roy Kroll opened Roy's as a gas and service station along Route 66 in Amboy, California. At that time, Route 66 was known as the Main Street of America, and it was the primary east-west highway artery crossing the nation from Chicago all the way to Los Angeles. In the 1940s, Kroll and his son-in-law, Herman Burris, expanded the business to include a cafe, an auto repair garage, and small cabins for overnight rental by Route 66 travelers. Looks here like some private rooms that you could have rented out back in its glory days. This one's actually open. Let's take a look around. In 1959, the towering neon boomerang sign was erected, visible for miles approaching Amboy, and the construction of the motels, modern guest reception and office were built as well. These became a vital milestone beacon for travelers for more than a decade. Can't go inside, but let's take a closer look. Yet in 1972, the opening of Interstate 40 in California, unconnected, as well as a fair distance north, of Amboy section of Route 66 quite literally meant the overnight loss of business. Burris himself was quoted as saying that his business went down to zero the day I-40 opened. The town was sold in 2005 to Albert Acura and his pledge to Bessie Burris to restore Roy's, keeping its original historic Route 66 look feel, and then to reopen it. Acura acquired the 950 acres, including the town and Roy's Motel and Cafe for $425,000 in cash on May 3rd, 2005. Acura plans to fully restore Roy's to its former glory days as a nostalgic tourist destination and Route 66 rest stop. Moon pie and some beef jerky. Things that have been refurbished would be the gas station, and the cafe. Would you check out those gas prices? I'm watching and all of a sudden, boom, there's my clips, my footage. My footage is on national television. And then I see America's Park slash YouTube. They're giving me a shout out and I'm watching. And then there's a face and a guy. Well, actually there's not a face. There's the back of a head. And it's John Keelan. 
they didn't even use me. They used John. So I felt excluded. Woo! It is windy here at Mojave Trails. We're at our second destination, and I'm going to let you down on this one. We simply do not have enough time to make it into the Amboy Crater. So we'll give you a view, and then we're going to sign off on this video. inside the crater but yet Mojave Trails National Monument two pretty cool stops if you can make it out here in the southeastern section of California we're signing off right now thanks again for watching I am going to blow away if you haven't done so yet hit that red subscribe button and remember always root for you on every America's Parks journey have a great day